Okay, let's take a look at uh, this question. We have the three, we have the points A, B, and C with position vectors this and this and this. And so, respectively, the point N is on C, B produced such that B, N is to B, C equals to lambda is to 1, phi A, N. So, the thing how we start doing this question is to first, let's say, we draw out uh, the, the picture. So, the point N is on C, B produced. So, let's say C, B is a straight line and then it extended out and you get a n right so this is called cb produced and the point is on cb produced so such that bn is to bc is lambda is to 1 so bn is lambda bc is 1 okay so now we are asked to find a n so now the position vectors that we have are all with respect to relative to o so O A O C we know that it is for O C we know that it is seven two minus one. For O B we have five two and one. Looking from here, so five two and one. So I J and K are just the position markers. I is for the first position. J is the two position. K is the third position. In what is important is the numbers in front of these markers. So 7 is 7, 2, and this one minus 1. Therefore, it is this case. So 3i means that the first number in this vector is 3. j is the second position in this vector. The number is minus 1. And we don't have a k here. So 0k, that means this is 0. No, this is not. This is the position vector for a. So that means we have a position vector a where there is 3 minus 1 and 0 is coming from here so now let's say if we want to find our idea is to find a n right by using the ratio theorem the ratio theorem states that let's say if you have a triangle or you have something like this right and um, to find a b which is some point in between c and n right to in order to find a b we can use the ratio theorem just by multiplying this scalar by the position vector a c plus actually a c is a direction vector so plus multiply one by by the uh, direction vector a n and we will get the direction vector a b so if we write it out means it just looks like this so lambda times ac plus 1 so lambda times ac plus 1 times an equals to what ab do you get it but that's not all we have to have 1 plus lambda so now we, we now we get something like this in order to rearrange this would be 1 plus lambda a b and this lambda a c if i bring it over would be minus lambda a c that will give me my a n and if you manipulate this a b is just o b minus o a o b minus o a therefore 5 minus 3 is 2, 2 minus minus 1 is 2 plus 1, so it's 3, 1 minus 0 is 1, so minus lambda, AC is OC minus OA, so it's always the second minus the first, position vector of the second minus position of the first, so 7 minus 3 is 4, 2 minus minus 1 is 3, and minus 1 minus 0, so this is what we're supposed to get so 2 plus 2 lambda minus 4 lambda we have 2 minus 2 lambda then 3 plus 3 lambda minus 3 lambda we'll have 3 then 1 plus lambda plus lambda is 1 plus 2 lambda okay so this is my factor a n so let's do a check um 2 minus 2 lambda, 3, 1 plus 2 lambda, that's it. This is our final answer.